Hey all, Hiba here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to World of Warships Legends. So uh, I didn't realize this, but uh, this week apparently is one-on-one -on -one ranked. And that is my favorite thing to do in the game. And uh, I have decided that I'm going to take probably the most difficult ship, a tier 6 cruiser. That's what we're playing. And I'm going to put an agile build on it. And I'm going to go through rank with it and see how well I do. So uh, if you are, you know, if you are a wanker, then uh, you would probably go like something with Maya or Algerie W, because if you have a fragile ego, kind of like Hivehound, uh, and you don't want to lose battles, of course you take some of the better ships. And um, my picks would be Algerie W uh, or Maya. Uh, they're both premium cruisers, right? And uh, if you are an absolute huge wanker, then uh, you can go for the Talon. Uh, if you really need to guard your masculinity, right? Uh, I've seen plenty of talents in this battle here and I sunk them all. So uh, I'll play what is probably the crappiest tier 6 cruiser in the game, but it actually works pretty well with an agile build and that's exactly what I have on here. So uh, Ingenious, full speed ahead, Velocious, steer clear and fully packed. And uh, then I have Baltimore's inspiration along with Rune, so uh, I don't have any offensive uh, perks on this ship at all. Right, nothing at all. I'm just gonna totally rely on my agility. Sonar and repair party, it does have a very nice repair uh, chest here, but you are gonna need it because it's really soft skinned. So aiming systems, uh, as you know, usual, steering gears and steering gears. So uh, we got a full agile build on this thing here, 14 and a half reload time, and a maneuverability of two second rudder and almost 39 knots. So uh, that's exactly how we like it. So uh, we're going to take Chessie out and we're going to see how we do in a full Agile build. Alright, and we're off. And you know, speaking of major wanker ships, here we have my first opponent in exactly a Talon. And you know, I get it, I understand why people pick it, because it is a powerful ship. It's just not very good one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, you know, Chessie might not be worth a lot in standard battles, you have to be very careful in it. But one-on-one, -on -one, this ship is one hell of an opponent because uh, it has 235 millimeter guns first of all so those citadels they really hurt um, and you don't want to go broadside to this ship here like this guy here is doing and uh, yeah almost a one-shot kill there um, so uh, this guy has picked Nachi um, yeah okay makes sense but on the other hand it doesn't really make sense anyway uh, he is disposed of very very quickly I don't know why he's going broadside like that so next up we have the Algerie W and uh, I haven't shown the beginning of the battle but this was a good battle, very challenging and uh, you can see he's about to ram but uh, I don't let him. And that's another thing, like if you ram in one on one uh, you are a major wanker. So uh, here we have GSD, I think I've played against him quite a few times in the past but uh, he's in the major wanker ship and he sinks. So here we have another Algerie, not the W version, so it doesn't have the reload boost, but uh, yeah, still a good ship for this particular rank here, but uh, no luck. So here we have a guy in a Boise. Now uh, I'm kind of playing this dude here because uh, I've taken the cap and I've chased him to the corner. So uh, no matter what happens in this battle here, I'm going to win because there's no way he's going to sink me. And uh, like I said before, if you ram in one versus one, uh, that's just uh, like a, a major douche move, so don't do that. And uh, this guy here obviously is going to do it. But what he doesn't understand is that I'm ahead on points. So if he ramps me, he's going to lose. Guaranteed. So what is the point of ramming me again? Oh, that's right, there is no point, he's just dumb. So you know, I would prefer not to have been sunk uh, in this battle here, but you know things go the way they go. So anyway, the next battle here, I lose this battle and uh, it's primarily because this guy surprises me. He actually comes around the island on the other side and uh, I have never seen anyone do that before and uh, that's why I'm not prepared for it. So he actually gets me pretty good there, it takes about half my health and uh, he's also pretty good at torping. Now uh, we do take about 99% of each other's health and uh, if my torps there uh, were a little bit better, I uh, would have nailed him right there, but uh, it was really, really close. So uh, we have to finish this with a top duel, and uh, these are the one, for, like, one versus ones that I live for. So uh, this guy here, like, 
awesome play. That was a really fun battle. And uh, you can see like we are down to like luck. So uh, next up, Helena. And uh, I don't want to show this one because who picks a Helena for one versus one? It doesn't have torpedoes. Like that's just stupid. That's ridiculous. So here we have another York. And uh, I'm thinking, oh, I'm done for here. You see, he's taken out my engine. So, you know, I rely completely on agility. And without an engine, that is, you know, kind of a problem. <laughs> But uh, I do have a lot of hit points. So uh, these torps here, they don't really matter that much, uh, especially when I have my heal lined up, right? And uh, my torps find their target and the guy is done for. So uh, next up, we have another insecure guy in a wanker ship here. And uh, I'm just going to sit here and torp him. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's going broadside towards me. I didn't get a citadel there, which was, you know, disappointing. But uh, the torp is going to get him and uh, yeah, I don't know, this guy is just inexperienced, uh, pretty obviously. So uh, now he panics and we just finish him off with the last there. Done, that was another talent sent to the bottom. Next up, we have another York. York is actually quite a challenge. Um, that's the ship I didn't show in the beginning. beginning. There could be an option as well. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's also very, very good. So, uh, you know, I recommend that one as well if you're still going to finish this one versus one ranked. But uh, you better hurry, there's just one more day left to so do it on the weekend, right? So this ship here I've never seen before. And uh, I have chosen to do the whole battle here because uh, I make a mistake. And well, it's not really a mistake so much because I have never seen this ship before. I don't know what the torpedo reload is on this ship here. Because of course I always count torpedo reloads, but I don't know what it is on this ship here. And uh, you can see I've got him uh, on the run already. So I could just stay here and, you know, sit and, uh, you know, just grab the caps to make sure uh, that I win and then go and ram him or whatever, like, uh, or let him ram me or whatever, because I'll still win. Uh, but I'm thinking, nah, I'm going to chase this thing down here. So I think he's used both his torps on, you know, both sides now. So he's pretty much defenseless. So that's why I'm thinking, oh, okay, let's finish him off. So uh, that's what I'm going for here. And uh, he's going to, you know, flee towards the uh, end of the map. Once he does that, he's going to be stuck there. And uh, then I'm going to torp him because I have plenty of torps left. And uh, he does keep angling all the time, which is quite annoying because I really don't want to chase him all the way to the end. So uh, now he has to turn, but uh, like this guy's smart, right? You're trying to make me waste my torps. So I'm thinking, okay, let's send one here. And I thought I had two torpedoes left, but I only have one. And, uh, here it is. I don't realize that he can reload his torps this fast. I'm going to have to look this ship here up because uh, I don't know where it's coming from. But uh, he does actually uh, win this one here. So well done. Anyway, on to the next one. Another York. And uh, this guy here. We just torp him. And uh, my torps are out before his. So uh, yeah, he sinks. So uh, next up we have a München, and uh, this is a ship we don't see too often out in standard battles. But I saw quite a few here in uh, 1 versus 1 ranked, and uh, it's pretty bad at that, so don't pick that ship. Uh, it was just, uh, you know, yeah, a pushover every single time. So again, a York, and uh, like I said, a challenging ship if you're not careful, uh, because it has good guns, has good torps, and uh, it uh, can be difficult to sink as well. But uh, we did get that one. Another one of these weird Star Trek ships here. And a uh, Torp duel. My Torps are out first. So, uh, well, he dies. And uh, another München here. And again, my Torps are out first. Just need the coup de grace here to take him out. And uh, I outturn his turrets with my agile ship here. So uh, now he's caught and he's like, uh-oh, I'm going to lose this. And uh, yes, you are. That's it. The end of you. So uh, next up we have another Helena and again this is just like the stupidest ship to pick in this battle here. Um, doesn't make any sense. And uh, York again, there's been a lot of Yorks here and I mean they are dangerous. They're like, you know, small hippers and uh, they are very good brawling ships. So uh, you really have to line up your torp runs and save a torp like I did here to panic them because uh, now he knows, uh oh, I'm done for and uh, I'm just going to finish him off and then I don't hit. <laughs> So uh, my secondaries do that. So uh, another Maya and uh, just, you know, finishing this guy off again. And uh, my torps are out first, so he sinks first and I win. And uh, another weird crazy ship here that's pretty much useless and uh, he finds that out as well. 
So uh, another one, and I, I, I don't understand what is it with this ship. It's it's not even very good, um, but a lot of people seem to have picked it. And lo and behold, another one. This one is a close one, but I am victorious yet again. Or Cheshire is victorious, not me. Another München, and that brings me to the last battle in this ranked here. So because this is the last battle, I'm going to show the whole battle. And uh, not just because of that reason, but also because in this battle here, I'm actually facing another Cheshire. And uh, this is the battle uh, for me that determines if I stay in the 90s win rate or I go down into the 80s. So obviously I want to win this one. Uh, I've lost what, two battles here. So that means that I've pulled pull this one off and I'll have a 92% win rate in an agile Cheshire. So uh, yeah, to those people who say like, oh, agile cruisers don't work. They just don't know how to play them. So uh, when I play Agile Cruisers in these one versus one battles here, I'm usually undefeated. Um, it's very rare for me to lose a battle. And I'm quite surprised I actually lost two in Chessia here. And uh, they were very close. So uh, they could have gone either way, right? Um, so uh, if these you know, anti-Agile Cruiser people will insist on saying, oh, it's just luck. Well, uh, this is like, I don't know the fifth or sixth uh, one versus one uh, ranked where I play an agile cruiser and not the best cruiser in the game and not the best one for ranked and uh, I pull off a uh, if not a hundred percent win rate then a 90 mid 90s win rate um, which we're also doing in this case here so anyway this battle here is against an azure lane Cheshire. this is also a ship that has come out while I've been away from the game for a while and uh, I'm really curious about this one um, I don't know what the difference is. I'm guessing it has a faster reload. Uh, he's a little bit early on the torps there, but uh, this is a really good duel. You can also see that, uh, see my agility there. Uh, this guy doesn't ram. Uh, none of us want to ram, and uh, that's just so rare to see. So I get a few torps off there. I don't sink him, because like I said, this ship has a lot of hit points, but it's also very, very squishy, right? So. Uh, if you take damage, you're going to take huge damage, but you can repair it if you have the time, right? So I uh, didn't get him there. I was hoping to send the shells up the, you know, the back plate of the ship where you can get straight into the citadel. But uh, I didn't really do that. And he's on fire, so he's burning and uh, it's uh, a win for me. So uh, this was a really good uh, battle. Finneru, Finneru, whatever his name is. Uh, and thank you for not ramming uh, see it makes it so much more interesting so that was it that was the end of my ranked season i think it took an hour and a half in all something like that and uh, like i said i won 23 out of 25 battles giving me a 92 percent win rate in an agile chess here so uh, yeah don't come here and tell me anything about agile cruisers so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video here, guys. And uh, if you happen to be playing a wanker ship, don't take it uh, personally. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you out there.